Hello everybody, welcome back to Baking Budgets y'all. I'm so glad you clicked on my video because today I'm going to be doing a budget with me for the second paycheck in June? Yes, second paycheck because we're now like in the second week. So let's get right into this guys. I have, as you can see, this is my other budget breakdown from like, oh my god, I think last month. I think I haven't done another budget breakdown honestly like i don't know sometimes i'm like yeah i'm gonna do one and then sometimes i'm just like nah like i don't know i always go like back and forth but anyways let's get into it i still cannot find the pen that i love i have to go to the dollar tree and pick up another one that's where i get my um my pens from and i just had this one laying around the house i was like oh whatever i just have to use it and i literally was thinking that i didn't even want to do this video because i literally don't like this pen but i was like whatever let me just use it if you hear any background noise my daughter's hanging out with me here in the room but she has her earphones on and everything and she's um watching a video but anyways let's get into this guys so today we're going to be budgeting three thousand two hundred and forty nine dollars and as always let's go ahead and get into my bills um a lot of my bills are empty i just went ahead and paid them um pretty much last week this week my bills are usually due around um the beginning of the second week of the month okay so let me see if you guys can see what i can see oh okay cool first of all i'm gonna do phone bill okay so for phone um i just paid for our phone bill for the next six months for my husband and i so i pretty much budgeted out to around 38 dollars a week so that's essentially around 76 dollars a month that i'll save um so that i'll have like that lump sum of money again and then pay our phone bills off for another six months and um yeah honestly that's totally fine with me um we have mint mobile and we really like it next is insurance my insurance is always the same every single month 274 dollars so i always want to stuff half at a time so 137 next is for life insurance so it was actually like in case you guys are familiar when you get life insurance essentially it is something you pay into every single month depending on whichever one you get um you can use it to like it'll pay you back in the future like you can earn interest on your money or for a cheaper option you essentially just pay into it and then whenever you die um that money is designated for whoever you leave it to so that could be for your kids your grandkids you know your uh, most likely it's like your spouse um so when you're doing it and you fill out the questionnaires asking like do you smoke do you drink all of that um they usually give you an estimated price like oh it'll be 60 bucks a month but then after you fill out the in-depth questionnaire um it might be they might be like oh hey you're actually a lot healthier than um people that are your age so uh like for example like i don't smoke i don't drink like that so mine ended up being like 20 dollars cheaper so i didn't budget it yet with that new amount because i need to see what my husband's new amount is going to be too so for now i'm going to just stick to the 55 um and then next month when i get the bill or when i get the bill i should get the bill in a couple days when i get the bill then i'll know for sure okay that's what it really is and then um i'll rework the budget for like next week but for now if there's extra money in there it's totally fine with me um next is my netflix it's always the same 17 dollars because yeah it's just under 33 under 34 dollars electric and gas i did get my bill and it's 164 i think it's 164 so and i have in here right now 113 so yeah i just need to put 51 52 i always try to add like a, a dollar extra because sometimes if it's like 20 cents 30 cents whatever and then next is gym same thing with gym it's about 39 dollars so i like to stuff around 19 each time after a while you know your bills it kind of gets repetitive because you kind of you already know especially like for us um 
I always stuff half at a time. So I just split whatever the payment is. Same thing with Spotify. It's like $17 in some sense. So I always budget $9 every time. So I'll have 18. Loan is uh, 300. So I'll do 150. Toyota, I do like to stuff Toyota all at one time. So I do 500. Our payment is not 500. Um, it is uh, less than $400. It's 300. 300 something around there um but i always love to stuff extra because i want to pay more towards principal and then rent i'll do 300 and then on the next paycheck since i won't stuff anything in toyota i'll stuff um the remaining 800 into rent so it kind of weighs it out like that and i started doing that maybe like two months ago and i i really like the way that it works out for us okay so let's see what this is and honestly, I don't really have anything to say about my bills. Um, I just, you know, it just kind of is what it is. Uh, like, I don't have a goal or anything like, or well, at least one thing I can think of is maybe trying to get my Netflix down. But other than that, I feel like we don't really have a lot of bills, especially bills that I don't think are out of the ordinary, like rent, car payment, you know, phone bill like there's nothing really i can do to like get out of that that's just you know part of being an adult everybody pays those bills so it is what it is but um yeah i think definitely netflix though i do want to look into trying to get that down if i can but we'll see so my bills total i want to go ahead and highlight it it makes it easier for me to know where i'm at perfect okay so bills total is 1277 so 3249 minus 1277 okay so we have a leftover of 1972 and as always i always do my daily cash and that is um uh i can write it down because usually i always stuff 500 dollars. um but i can kind of show you guys kind of like what my breakdown is because i know i haven't I haven't done like an in-depth breakdown of my daily cash in so long and that's just because like I don't have like the individual cash envelopes anymore for it. Um, I kind of just carry all the cash. My husband carries some, I carry some and then you know however we go about our day you know we just use it. It doesn't really matter. It's not like oh that's yours and that's mine. Um, so it's just kind of like oh okay you're gonna check out just pay it you know <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Um, but the reason why I also stopped doing it is because I have been leaving grocery money in the bank. I always do 250 in groceries and I leave that in the bank because we always shop at Costco and Costco can take cash, but I always feel like when it comes to groceries, I never really know how much we're going to spend because it, that also includes like like today we had to buy a bunch of like vitamins for myself my daughter my husband and we also had to buy some household products like dishwasher pods and obviously those are things that we always buy every week or every two weeks so that's why i just leave that amount in the bank and i totally feel comfortable with that i put that on my card and then as soon as we get home today like i just did this um i'll go ahead and pay it and we spent about 190 at costco so i'll pay it from there and then whatever's left over um that also kind of helps me build a buffer because obviously so we spent so we had 250 and we spent 190 so there's 60 bucks left over and that also kind of helps us build up our buffer in our account so you know if we're out and about and we have um cash and they're like hey we don't take cash pretty common where we live in washington sometimes um then we'll just take it put it on the credit card and then we know yeah we have money in there so totally fine um okay so 500 minus 250 so that leaves uh 250 dollars and essentially i like to budget around 120 for gas uh because it's about 60 dollars a week um and we do like to go to the city quite frequently so that does take a lot of gas and gas for my car is expensive and you know whatever we all know that that's just how it is <laughs> so then that leaves a leftover of about 130 dollars for eating out coffee um you know if my daughter wants an ice cream or whatever that'll cover us for two weeks so that's kind of how i break it down so yeah so essentially 500 dollars for two weeks which honestly I don't know you guys tell me if you think that's good or bad but personally i feel like two i feel like five hundred dollars for two weeks and that includes my groceries and my gas and that includes like 
toilet paper you know dishwasher pots things like that for a family of three i think that's pretty good because i also make lunch for my husband every single day and when my daughter and i are home because i'm a stay-at-home mom i cook for us breakfast lunch and dinner every single day for two weeks we'll usually eat out maybe once or twice a week but either way we're eating nearly every single meal at home so i i feel like honestly that's not too bad Mommy, you found it. oh yeah honestly i don't think that's too bad but you guys let me know what you think if that's a lot or if you think that's a little bit or i, I just want to know i'm always curious <laughs> that's why i love watching other people's budget breakdowns okay so we were at 1972 minus the 500 oops minus 500 okay okay so now we have a leftover 1472 okay now when i get to this point it's kind of like okay let's see what am i gonna do now because i always um bills and daily cash that's the very first thing that comes out obviously um so now i want to take a look at my sinking funds i did want to tell you guys something so let me get into this envelope here so okay so my emergency um okay let me tell you guys what happened so i do want to say that this is our cash emergency if you guys have been following me for a while you know that i always talk about having like cash emergency having like an emergency in like the bank um especially because like if you have a high yield savings account you can't always get the money out right away compared to like a regular Mommy, savings account. Mama. Okay, let me know if you need anything, okay? Okay. Okay, okay but just shut the door, please. Okay. Thank you. Tell me you have a question. Okay, I'll let you know. Love ya. Okay. Thank you. Um. Anyways, so yeah usually with a high yield savings account you can't always get the money out immediately because sometimes it takes a while to like transfer over to your actual like business account i mean your like personal account so that's why i always call this my cash emergency that i we keep in our safe and then we of course have our separate emergency funds for our car our daughters our personal savings retirement all of that that we keep in a high yield savings account so with that being said, in my emergency fund, we currently have left in here, I think around 200 or some dollars around there because my car needed new tires. So we went ahead and paid for that um, in cash, obviously. So that's why it's super depleted. So today I am going to go ahead and we're going to be adding into here. I'm going to, we're going to be stuffing into here. $1,300 is that what I'm going to do let me see yes okay so I budgeted okay let me just let me just tell you guys what I wanted to do so okay so for emergency we had a total of let me see so we're doing 1300 and then oh shoot I was gonna add 300 okay so okay let me just tell you guys so we had 257 left in emergency after we paid for the tires for my car after that i went ahead and took out the 257 dollars and i have it and i'm gonna stuff it so essentially we are stuffing 1300 dollars into emergency sorry we're stuffing 1043 dollars so when we do that, it'll put us at $1,300. So I'm going to add $1,043. Okay. However, I am not going to be stuffing the $1,000. I'm going to put a placeholder because it makes no sense to put that much in here and then take it out and put it in the bank anyways. But I will be stuffing whatever is over $1,000, which is $300. So I'm taking from this number $1,043. However, when you guys see me do my stuffing tomorrow, I will only be stuffing 300 of real cash. Okay, cool. I hope that makes sense. So, uh, 1,472 minus 300. Oops, sorry. 1,472 minus 1,043. Okay, so we have 429 left. So, anyways, yeah. I just wanted to let you guys know that. And because I 
wanted it to be like a flat number i wanted it to be i wanted to get it to the nearest hundredths place so that's why i budgeted 1043 so it'll be at 1300 which is not too bad because we had 2000 in here and yeah if you guys know you know tires are super expensive so it is what it is so uh all right so next is car care and i already know for here i want to go ahead and add 120 because my husband is going to be driving his truck soon and i need to uh we need to buy the tabs for his car and in washington state tabs are pretty expensive health is gonna get 40 i always stuff 40 dollars in here haircuts i am gonna go ahead and just round that off because i'm pretty sure my husband's gonna get his hair cut within these next few days and he, in here he still has 10 and his haircuts 40 with a five dollar tip so i'm gonna do 35 next is the babies and i always feel like especially like health the babies and the babies like i'm constantly at zero like i'll stuff it and then i always get to zero and i really want to like kind of get on top of it so i know this time around i do want to stuff extra and i'm gonna do 120 dollars um because my daughter has been asking for a bunch of princess dresses and she's totally into princess dresses right now and she wants to buy a couple of them so i really want to get that going um the money in here is just fun money for her so yeah i want to do 120 oh shoot did i take it out i'm pretty sure i did okay next is a lychee he always gets 10 bucks and next time i am going to be adding more for him because he needs to get some shots before we go on our um on our trip uh baby shower same thing i like to just add like ten dollars uh okay family time okay so i do want to tell you guys something so when i originally was like working out this budget my sisters and i were planning on taking the kids to a game um like a baseball game and so i was like okay yeah let me go ahead and budget 80 bucks so we can go to the game and then we decided we're not gonna go because it was turning out to be like a hundred dollars per family and i i don't know if my sisters are still gonna go they might still go but for me and my husband we were like i think that's a lot to go for a game and especially because i'm pregnant right now it's kind of hard for me to sit down for like that long anyways so i was like you know what let's just leave that 80 bucks in there because we want to get memberships at the swimming center so i was like we'll just leave that in there because it's opening in a couple weeks but um yeah we're not going to do the game anymore but that's totally fine um but yeah so that's why it, it has a lot but i don't know we might end up going to the zoo or something because i've been oh i put personal time <laughs> I've been wanting to go to the zoo. We've been wanting to take our daughter. Um, so per, uh, personal, we'll just put $10. And then last but not least, we have vacation. And I know I need to get vacation up. But at the same time, I'm like also trying to get up my daughters and the car care. And, you know, and right now I need to replenish my cash emergency fund. So anyways, it's okay. So in vacation, we'll just get the last $4. Okay, so let's go ahead and add this up. And we should have a leftover of zero but let's go ahead and add this so 1043 plus 120 plus 40 35 120 10 10 80 10 4 oh perfect okay 1472 so that's a leftover of zero dollars ouch <laughs> sorry if this budget with me was kind of boring guys but honestly going forward at least these next couple weeks um i'm s probably gonna be stuffing around of over a thousand dollars into our emergency every single time um and that's just because yeah like i said we want to get up our cash emergency um especially because my husband like now that it's getting like summertime he's going to be working on his truck a lot more that's like his passion project um is that how you call it like a passion project or like his like hobby thing so um yeah definitely want to get that up so that he has money to use and all of that so anyways guys thank you so much for tuning into today's video i hope you guys liked it and i can't wait to see y'all in my next video where i will be cash stuffing this money so I'll see y'all then bye